Hello everyone, this is Vincent and I'm so excited to share this new training with you. So a month ago, I shared the 12 step to COVID-19. We had a fantastic reaction. I helped so many of you guys. I was very happy to see the response and I wanted to do something further. So I went with my team, we worked hard so much, we worked very hard and put together this 30 day action plan. Now this action plan is going to help you to implement a strategy that will help you survive this crisis and that will help you come back stronger. It's very important you pay attention. We put so much effort into this video. This is not just about information. This is serious strategies that are going to help you strengthen your business, are going to help you implement things you can do right now to help you keep the momentum, to help you get some sales, to help you go through this. So I need your attention. For the next 40, 45 minutes, I'm going to give you my full attention. It's very important that you, all, you also pay attention to this video. I'm going to give you bonuses, so please stay until the end. I'm going to handle you free training, paid training. I'm going to give them to you, so please stay until the end. Now, for who is this video? If you're a sales professional in the boating industry, whether you sell product, boats or services, small boats, big boats, super yacht, doesn't matter. But if you're prepared to face a cold hard truth, then in the, you are in the right place. Let me make sure that, okay, we are recording, everything is good. I want to start with this quote. Bad companies are destroyed by crisis. Good companies survive them, but great companies are improved by them. I know it's not going to be easy, but I know there are some opportunities. I've seen it. What you need to do is you need to be aware of it, work hard, and you're going to get some opportunities. I know there's been a challenging year. The year started wonderfully. The economy was at a record high. Everybody was happy. And then around the corner, we didn't know what happened. This virus came from China, coronavirus, and now it's a total disaster. We don't know where we're going, but we must adapt. It's not whether the crisis is going to be over, it's when you're going to be over the crisis. I'm going to repeat that message again today, but I want you to pay attention. I want to help you. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. Worry about today. Do effort, be 100% hustle, and things will be better for you. Remember, it's a do or die situation. You must change. The first thing you need to understand is that it's very important to change. So stop waiting for things to come back to normal. Things will not come back to normal. What you need to do is you need to focus on the biggest effort right now. Why? Because things aren't pretty. I mean, let's be honest. Things are not pretty right now. And we don't know how long it's going to last. There are going to be extremely difficult times ahead, but there are still hope. You can see some sunshine at the end of that painting and there are still some opportunities out there. You just need to fight, get through this, and I'm going to help you. That's my guarantee. I'm going to help you. Now, there are, I'm not an economist. There are a lot of prediction out there. Stop wasting your time looking at prediction. I found this on Business Insider, and I really liked it. It was an economist, Michael Gappen. He said, my only outlook right now is that I don't even have an outlook. And for me, that's the best prediction that I found so far. Why? Because what we're seeing right now simply never happened before. It's unprecedented. And here is what he said. He said, this is so bad and so unprecedented that any attempt to forecast what's going to happen is just a full game. So just instead of playing the full game, just focus on what's happening, what you're doing right now, and try to be the strongest as you can be. And I'm going to help you for that. I mean, just look at the metrics, what's going on for the last 50 years or so. The normal variation for weekly jobless claim has been between 200,000 to 700,000. Now, the weekly number suddenly jumped to 6 million per week. And the guy said, I'm not sure you have a model that tells you anything about the state of the world that you are in. That's a fact, right? The world is so messed up right now. When the cost, of, uh, and this is not a joke, by the way, I'm not here to make joke. This is a very serious training. I'm really here to provide you value. But when the cost of a toilet paper roll or toilet paper pack costs more than a barrel of oil, you know that there are some serious messed up things that's going on and that you need to get your ass to work, work really hard, and that's what I'm going to help you, okay? Now, again, this is real. This is not just a health crisis. This is not just a flu thing or a virus thing. This is much more than that. This is a fourth industrial revolution. 
why we can say it's an industrial revolution. If you look at the history, if you look at the past, the lessons from history, every time there is a mass migration of people, you notice an industrial revolution when the people came from the countries to the city or from the cities and went to the factories or from the factories and went to the services. And now they're going from their job, they're going to home. And the jobs, the businesses are going to adapt. Now, unfortunately, some business will not reopen because a lot of businesses are going to die from that. And a lot of people, unfortunately, are not going to get the job back. So this is an industrial revolution that we're experiencing right now. And for that reason, you absolutely need to adapt, pay attention, and you need help right now. And that's why I'm putting this training together. Over the last months, you've heard about webinar, you've heard about virtual tour, you've heard about walkthrough video, you've heard about social media, Zoom webinar. But guess what? Those are the things I've been doing for the last 10 years. This is what I speak. This is my language. And for that reason, I want you to pay attention to this video and really apply what you're going to see and hear in this video. Remember that opportunities come from changing environment. And the opportunity comes from changing environment, but when the, the bigger the change is, the bigger the opportunity. Now, there are two ways you can act. Number one, you can be passive. You can watch the news, worry, fear, sit in the dark, hope and pray. Or number two, you can be offensive. You can be active. You can work like never before. You can hustle like never before. You can be abysmal. You can adapt. You can pivot. And that's exactly, and you can size your opportunities. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. A few days ago, I posted a poll on one of our broker group on, on Facebook. I have a broker group who have now 1,300 members. And there is a questionnaire to be, to be part of it. It's only about sales professionals. And I asked a question like, how are you guys holding on? And you wouldn't be surprised to see the number of positive response we got. There are still a lot of opportunities in the marketplace. And there is still not enough room in that slide to show you all the positive people that are ex experiencing positive things right now. Remember, boats are relevant. You're selling social distancing. You're selling fresh air. Boating is a competitor from travel. Travel is being shut down right now. People are being stuck at home. So there are still a lot of opportunities to sell some boats. And this is what I'm going to help you. And for that reason, I want you to pay attention. This training is going to be different. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vincent Finetti. I've spent over 30,000 hours of my life studying boat sales and marketing. I've been involved in over 3,050 boat and yacht marketing projects. Since I started Yacht Sales Academy, I've trained over 5,000 boat sales professionals, whether it's from small boats, small dealership, or even super yacht brokers. And I've enrolled over 750 students have been enrolled in our programs at Yacht Sales Academy. I've read over 1,000 books on sales, marketing, business development, behavioral psychology, understanding why people buy. Uh, now, I'm not sharing that to brag. I'm sharing this to establish my credibility as someone you need to pay attention to, someone you need to listen to, and someone you can profit from. If you follow me on social media, you know, all I do, all I've done over the last 12 years is travel the world from boat show, international boat show to international boat show, brokerage house to brokerage house, dealer meeting to dealer meeting, shipyard to shipyard. I literally leave my house on the east side and come back on the west side and circumnavigate the planet. And I've done that for the last 10 years. And I'm obsessed about finding the best strategies to market and sell boat. I've been obsessed. Every time I go to a shipyard or dealer meeting training, I'm doing some worldwide dealer meetings all around the world. When I go there, it's not just to share information, it's also to gather information, to understand what people, to understand how people are buying boats today because I'm also asking questions, identifying who was the best marketer, who was the best salesperson out there in the marketplace. And I'm here to share this information with you. So without further ado, let's, dive in and let's check our 30 day COVID-19 action plan. In the next 30 days, right now, it's crucial that you do three things. There are three essential things that you must implement right now, that you need to be obsessed right now. Number one is to pivot your business. You need to adapt your business to what's going on right now. Business are being shut down, people are working from home, your clients are, are, are probably staying home right now. Everything, the churches are closing, the schools are closing, the bars and restaurants are closing, the travel is closing. So guess what? Your clients are expecting you to 
inform them about what's going on, if you are open, if you are closed, how you're adapting to COVID-19. So it's very important that you pivot your business and you let know your clients a new way you're doing business. And I'm going to show you the best way, the easiest way, the most efficient way to do so. The second thing you need to do is to digitize your business. Okay, that's crucial. I'm going to show you exactly step by step the easy way on how to do that. Finally, the third pillar of a triangle of COVID-19 30 day action plan, it's you need to keep serving. You need to be obsessed about serving right now, but you also need to be obsessed about selling. If you don't sell, you're not going to survive. It's very important to keep the sales momentum. And I'm going to teach you the best way to sell in crisis. Are you ready for it? Let's dive in. So let's go to number one, pivot your business. Why it's so important to pivot your business? Remember 9-11? After 9-11, when you were going to the airport, things were completely different, right? And things never changed since then. After, after the crisis of 2008, there was an author named Michael Malansky. He mentioned that after 2008, we entered what we call the post-trust era. And he wrote a book called The Post-Trust Era. It's like consumers were so um, not trusting anymore the big corporation, the government, the businesses that they were so doubtful of all the offers and everything that was presented to them. Well, just we were in the post trust era or the post 9 11 era in airport. We are going to enter the post coronavirus era. So, what is a post coronavirus era? Well, after coronavirus, guess what? Things are not going to go back to normal. Forget about it. People are going to change the way they buy. People are going to change the way they meet. People are going to change their priority. The way they do business is going to change. And there is no question about it. Why? I can say that with certainty. It's not because I'm an expert. It's not because I predict the future. It's simply because when you look at people's behavior, people, expert uh, behavior psychologists are saying that it takes 21 days to build a habit. Now, some people say it takes a little bit more. But overall, people say it takes 21 days to build a habit. Guess how long people have been locked out? 21 days and more, right? So what's going to happen is the behavior that has been anchored to those consumers is going to maintain, is going to perdure in the future. If you look in China right now, people are not going back to restaurants. And even if the restaurants are open, because they've taken the habit, those habits of eating home, those habits of not going out, those habits of social distancing, or staying within themselves. And they are adopting this behavior. Okay? So if you're not pivoting, and if you're not pivoting, and if you're not relevant, you are done. I'm going to repeat that. If you're not pivoting and I'm not relevant, you're done. So what is going to be the new way to do business for us both as professional? I wanted to do, instead of saying it, I wanted to do a video to show you exactly what is going to be the new way. Well, first, people are going to be at their home and they're searching now for boats at their homes. They're looking at walkthrough, photo galleries, or virtual tours. What else are they going to do? They're going to practice social distancing, but also more hygiene activity. When you meet, they're going to be a more hygiene standard. They're also going to do more business on face-to-face uh, -face on video. Hygiene is going to be in place whether they're going to be seeing some boats or going to some events and things like this. And finally, they're going to conduct business more over the uh, online with electronic signature, for instance. So that's the new way of doing business. A little video you saw that is just simply the new way of doing business. So how do you adapt? And what do you do? What are the actions you need to do? Well, guess what? You don't guess what needs to do. You just put yourself in the shoes of your clients and try to respond to the questions and concerns of, that they have. So your clients are asking themselves right now, how can I do both sales transactions from the safety of our home? Or how is your company adapting to COVID-19? Or what safety measure do you have in place for a showing, for instance? Or if I buy a boat, how does that work? Or if I sell my boat with you, how does that work? So what you need to do is to put a strategy in place to show your clients how you're adapting. Now, some people tell me, yes, we have a strategy, we're doing it, and it's fine, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. But guess what? You need to show it to your clients. You need to clearly show it, either it's in a brochure or on your website, and this is exactly what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to give you the slides, I'm going to give you the text, I'm going to give you the checklist that you can use on your website. I'm encouraging you to copy it, to steal it from the slides, and use the same and show your clients how you're adapting your business to COVID-19. So the first thing you need to do is to, you need to have a little introduction paragraph to tell your clients, hey, look, 
we have a COVID-19 strategies and this is all the things we're doing right now. The health and safety of you and your families are top priority at ABC Odding or whatever company name is. Our goal during this crucial time is to provide you with the tools you need to limit your exposure while choosing a boat or a yacht to buy or putting your boat or yacht on the market to sell. We do all of this while continuing to provide the great service we're all known to give. And here is how we do it. So that's your little introduction paragraph. It doesn't need to be long. It doesn't need to be corporate. It doesn't need to be uh, government style writing. Make it fresh and simple, but very clear, right? Next, what do you need to do? You need to show them a checklist of the top five actions you're having, you're putting in place right now to help them sell a boat, for instance. So tell them, look, if you want to sell a boat with us, it's very simple. We have a five-step process in place. Number one, we have virtual seller consultation. So we can communicate via Zoom or FaceTime or whatever video you use to answer all your boat sales questions. Number two, virtual reality boat tour. We use Advanced 360 Virtual Tour to provide buyers an interactive way to tour your boats online. Now, if you don't use Virtual Tour, if you, do, if you use Advanced Video Walkthrough, it's fine. Or an extensive photo gallery, it's fine. Whatever you use, but you adapt your text, but you need to show the five steps on how you are adapting your business to COVID-19. Number three, showing precautions. Boats will be clean prior every showing. Our sales team will wear gloves and instruct buyers to keep their hands in their pockets, asking if anyone has been healed. Number four, electronic signatures. All documents will be sent to you via emails for signing. And number five, online signing for closing. Video conferencing and online signing will be used for closing, of course, if it's possible in your ju jurisdiction, in your geographical area. Maybe you can do an hybrid way, but you need to show them that you have measures in place to adapt the way you're selling boats. Very simple. So if you want, just take that slide, change the text, put your, your little logo in the bottom, put your photo on the bottom, but you need to have something similar to show them, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, right now. It will take you maybe an hour to do something like this, but it's so important that you put it together. Number two, looking to buy a boat. Looking to buy a boat. Same process, virtual boat showing, earnest money. So virtual boat showing. We can send you video and virtual tour of FaceTime you while we walk you through the boat. Number two, earnest money. No need to bring a check, just wire the funds. Number three, inspection, service trials. More surveyors are continuing to provide service and we can support you with a video conferencing available if you do not want to attend. Number four, electronic signature. All documents will be sent to you via emails for signing. And number five, online signing for closing. Video conferencing and online signing will be used for closing. Again, it's a very simple way to show them, look, if you want to buy a boat with us, we have a system in place, it's five step, and everything is going to be okay. Next, I made some little flashcard for you to help you. So you can say, for instance, hey, we have a no contact showing in place. We take the health and safety of our clients and staff seriously and want to remind you of the existing options available for boats and your tour. While we are available to show you boats with precaution in place, if you prefer no contact showing, we are more than happy to tour you through a boat virtually, either via FaceTime, WhatsApp video, or video tour. No contact consultation. To support flattening the curve or to support you know, the health and safety of our clients or whatever you want to say, our team will be conducting video conferencing with our buyers and sellers. In case where technology is not available to our clients, we will meet face-to-face -face with strict measures in place. Next, no contact offer. Same, for many years, ABC Yachts has been transitioning to be a technology-driven company. We have software in place to allow for electronic viewings and signing of any of all the offers, contract documents. Your yachting transactions will not be on hold while social distancing is in effect. That's it. I just shared with you how you can pivot your business in no time. You create a couple of slides, you either you ask your web designer or you put it on your website. If not, just put it on a PDF. And every time you interact with the clients, send him the little PDF brochure with this, the things that I show you. And that's it. But you must show your clients that you are adapting the way you do business. Guess what? If you don't, your clients are going to be worried. They're going to be like, those guys are not outdated business. They are not relevant and they might not want to do business with you and they might not feel comf comfortable to do business with you. 
So it's very important, number one, that you pivot your business. I show exactly what you do. It's simple steps, but you must do it and you must show it to your clients. Are we clear with that? Number two, digitize your business. Now, this is huge too. Number two, digitize your business. What do I mean by that? Yeah, you're going to tell me, yeah, over the last 15 years, we, everyone is talking about digitization and this and that and going digital and social media and internet. Guess what? I saw that online, make me giggle. Who led the digital transformation of your company? A CTO, a CEO, B CTO, C COVID-19. Since COVID-19, out of a sudden, everyone is, you know, using digital and digitizing their business. Guess what? This is a must. You have no choice. And I wanted to do a graph to show you exactly what's happening right now. Before COVID-19, traditional way was the main way, was the main way of doing business. And we're doing a small part of, of our business digital. Today is going to be the total opposite. Everything has to be done online and a very small part, the smallest part possible actually has to be done traditionally. So as you can see on this graph here, there is a complete 180 degree switch and turn to adopt digitization of your business. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, what to do it. The first thing is you need to ask yourself the right question. And every morning when you're going to work or when your staff are going to work or your team, you need to ask yourself, how can I demonstrate value digitally? That's the most essential question you need to ask yourself. How can I demonstrate value digitally? Because you cannot demonstrate value the old way. There is no such thing as business as usual. And by the way, don't say we're doing business as usual. It just shows that you're old school. You have no understanding, no empathy for what's going on. You must adapt. So what are the things you need to do? The easiest way to adapt is to do video, which is what I'm doing right now. It's a, it's a video training or video conference or anything. Video, publishing video and content will be a daily marketing activity. Now you can do this video for all the different platforms out there. It can be YouTube, it can be Facebook, it can be Instagram or LinkedIn, but it's very important to do video. So publishing video, FaceTime, Zoom, video walkthrough, WhatsApp video. You can even, instead of sending a text message, record yourself in a little video and send it to your clients. But it's very important that you embrace video and that you embrace self-promotion using video. This is no longer optional today in 2020. Now again, it's whether you like it or not, okay? If you're not uncomfortable improving your board sales, then you're doing something wrong. Remember that. If you're not uncomfortable, you're doing something wrong. And I know you're going to tell me, oh, I suck at video, oh, I don't like video, oh, video makes me uncomfortable. But guess what? Every time you're going to start something new, you're going to suck at it. When Tiger Woods started golf, he sucked at it. When Michael Jordan started basketball, he sucked at it. But eventually they practiced and then became better. And it's going to be the same for you for video. So do it. Another thing you can do is instead of sending email, you can send video email. So there is some great program. I just signed up to the one here. It's called Bomb Bomb Video. And Bomb Bomb Video is instead of sending a regular email, you have a little camera icon in your email. So it's an extension that you install. And you can just send one minute, two minute, whatever video. It's so easy to use. It costs $24 a month, and it's a fantastic way to communicate with his clients. Why do you see I have a video, and why do you see I also have my little signature photo, in the, my photo in the signature? It's called confirmation bias. People are more likely to do business with, when they are fam with people they are familiar with. That's why when you go in car dealerships, they will tell you, oh, let me go get a copy and come back. Let me go see the manager and come back. Let me go grab something and come back or I forgot something, I come back. They do that four or five times. They do that to manipulate you because when they are familiar with you, you're more likely to do business with them. And what a little photo in the signature is doing or what a video message or a little video in email like that is just building familiarity and people will be more likely to do business with you. Another thing I want you to do is I want you to start doing video walkthrough. Now, whether you like it or not, whether you're good at it or not, doesn't matter. Even if you suck at it, you know what? Just take your phone, take a little microphone. So for microphone, I really recommend this one. Okay, the, the, if you have an iPhone, the little uh, head, head, uh, headphone. And or you can use, you see in my video here, I have a little black microphone. It's called Hey Mic. Uh, H E Y M I C cost $99 and it's a Bluetooth microphone. It works amazing. 
I also recommend a little stabilizer, but I'm going to give you a free training with all the setup and stuff for videos, so don't worry about it, I'll explain. But video, just start simple. Just do a simple video through the boat, holding your phone like this and explaining what you see. And But I'm going to give you all, all the training and stuff, but you need to get started with video walkthrough. Now, if you want to enhance your video walkthrough, I'm sure you're going to say, yeah, but I don't know about uh, how to edit the movie, how to add music, how to add my logo. Guess what? You don't need to know how to do it. Just go on that website called fiverr.com and you go for professional real estate video service. This guy is doing it for $10. For $10, he has 279 review, five-star review. For $10, you can have a guy, I don't know where this, they're from, maybe this guy is from India, but it will help you put your logo, put a background music and help you put a nice video together. Right? And they have a lot of, have hundreds and thousands of freelancers over there. So use video and use video walkthrough. Next, you gotta use Zoom calls. It's very, very important that you use Zoom calls. Zoom last month, 10 million users. Zoom this month, 100, uh, 300 million or 330 million users. It's growing like crazy. Why? Because people love it. It's inexpensive. It's free to start or it costs $15 a month. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. You can do a video conference with several people. Everything is being recorded. You can upload it on social media. I really recommend you to start playing with it, to start using it for $15 a month. You can't go wrong with it. And that will help you significantly create some great content. So that was a number one for digitization, using video as much as you can, whether you like it or not. Number two, and again, I'm going to help you with that. Number two, social media. I was one of the first guys in the boating industry to have 100,000 Facebook fan page. One of the first guys to have 50,000 uh, Instagram on uh, followers. Uh, we had like 30,000 followers on Twitter, like, uh, and I'm talking to you like seven or eight years from now. We have a YouTube channel with seven or I think now six million views. So I was one of the early guys in the body industry understanding the importance of social media. And I'm going to help you for it. I want to help you for it. Because guess what? Do you know the biggest um, social media is so important? Social media content and social conversation are now a central marketing activity. Let me ask you a question. Do you know the biggest boat show in the world? Well, some people say it's for Lauderdale. Some people say it's Miami. But the biggest boat show in the world is social media. It's 365 days a year. It's free to attend. There are millions of users. And this is a place where you're going to do business. Guess what? Facebook, Google, Instagram, and YouTube are the new yacht world. I told you I have a group with 1,300 boat sales professionals on Facebook. I asked them, Paul, I asked them a question. Out of your last 10 sales, where is the lead coming from? Majority of them are coming from Facebook. They're coming from Facebook, from their Facebook world. They're coming from Facebook groups. They're coming from Facebook marketplace. They're coming from Instagram, even from TikTok, from YouTube. So you must absolutely leverage social media. Also, people are not social media to buy boats. I agree, people who are buying boats are social media. This is why this is so important. Again, I'm going to give you a full social media training. Last year, I did a social media training called 21 Day Challenge. It was 21 day. I wanted to challenge uh, our students at the Academy every day to watch a five to 10 minutes, a six or five minute video with an awesome tips to help you get started with video and with social media. I'm going to give you that free training. That's why I want you to stay on TDN. I'm going to help you. I told you. So that was the second thing to digitize using social media. What's the third thing? Virtu doing business virtually. Okay, doing business virtually. Virtual boat show is a great example. We see more and more virtual boat show being organized, and this is great. But guess what? If you're looking at the demand, you go on Google Trends, you type virtual shows, you see there is an exponential demand for it. Now, some of you are going to tell me, yeah, but I don't know if my company is going to do a virtual boat show. Guess what? Don't worry about it. I'm not asking for your company to do a virtual boat show. I'm asking you to do business virtually. So what is, here's what you are going to do. Here's a tip. Organize a virtual seller consultation and a buyer readiness consultation. Those are going to be your half an hour, one-on-one -on -one online video consultation with your clients, whether it's buyers, whether it's sellers. You're going to create little images like this. You can steal mine or you can put your photo instead of your logo. 
And this is what you're going to promote on your website. This is what you're going to promote. Let's say on the newsletter, on your email newsletter or email, and you're going to tell your clients, look, if you're considering selling your boat, let's organize a virtual seller consultation. So no pressure, half an hour consultation. You and I on video, and we chat, and we're trying to find some opportunities for you. And I'll tell you how you can uh, get your boat uh, sold. Or same for if they want to buy a boat, okay? But it's very important that you put that in place. So that was our pillar number two, okay? Pillar number one, pivot the business. Pillar number two, digitize the business. What's our pillar number three? Keep serving and keep selling. Pillar number three, keep serving and keep selling. I'm going to give you amazing um, strategies also. In times like this, in pandemic time, in difficult time, in, in, in depression or recession, you absolutely need to keep serving your clients. That's what are going to make a big, that's what is going to make a huge difference. So serve your clients like never before. Let me tell you a story. Do you know the only core companies that increased sales during the 2008 recession? There's only one core company that increased sales during the 2008 recession. It's actually Hyundai. Let me tell you why. You know the things that people worry the most during a recession is to lose your job. So Hyundai understood that perfectly and put something together called the Hyundai Assurance Program, where in the unlikely event that you will lose your job, they will froze the lease payment for up to six months. So that will help you find, give you some time to find another job. And if you will not find another job, eventually they will take the call back and your credit will not be affected. Now, very few people ended up claiming the insurance, but as a result of putting this strategy in place, there was the only car company in North America that increased car sales. Why? Why were they able to do this? They did one thing. Instead of focusing on them, instead of focusing on the product, instead of saying, oh, we have the best discount ever since creation of cars because it's Christ. They didn't focus on them. They focus on the clients. They put themselves in the mind of the client. What is the main worry that our customers have? And this is what you need to do. You need to ask yourself the same type of question. If you look at Starbucks, that's my favorite business quote. They're saying, we're not in the coffee business serving people. We're in the people business serving coffee. Before Starbucks, coffee was a $1 commodity product. After Starbucks, it became $5 luxury experience. Why? Because you were focusing on the clients. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the clients right now. I want you to be obsessed with the client. Let me give you an example again about Starbucks. What they are doing, for instance, is healthcare workers. They're saying, hey, for all the healthcare workers out there, there are free coffee. So if you're a healthcare worker, you can stop by and get a free coffee. But guess what? You can do something similar. Look in your community. The marine businesses that are struggling right now, how can you show support to them? Because if you get their back right now, guess what? They're going to get your back soon in the future. So I want you to genuinely care about people, not caring because you want to make money. I'm going to teach you about making money and, and about selling. But right now, I want you to focus just on caring. How are you doing right now? Genuinely. The reason I'm putting this training is literally because I care about you. 100% I want to help you. And that's why I'm going to give you a free training. That's the number one priority. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your clients and say, how are you guys holding up? Send a text message like this. And you're going to be surprised by the response. And you don't say, how are you guys holding up? By the way, do you want to buy a boat from me? No. Start by just asking, how are you guys holding up? And you need to show your clients that you have their backs that you care about them. So send them text message, personal message, voicemail, direct mail, postcard, be personal. One of the first thing I did when the COVID-19 crisis came is I decided to send handwritten letters to all the clients. 100 plus handwritten letters. It took me a day to do it, it took me a lot of time. But guess what? I received so many amazing messages from these letters. And I had a strategy, I told some students at the Jets Academy, I'm, I'm like, do you, want to do, do you want to get some business? Like, yeah, I'm like, send this hand in her letters to your clients. Here is a text. Follow that text. The guy sent and he get back to me and say, oh my gosh, this hand in letters are jackpot. The client just sent me $500 for 
and on uh, PayPal or Venmo and said, it's a retainer for the next boat I'm going to buy from you. Just because he's showing that he's caring. And so that's one of the things I want you to do is really show your clients that you're caring right now. One of the best sales book out there that you can read when it comes to selling with empathy like this is called The Go-Giver. And you can see almost 2,000 review five stars. It's an amazing book. It's a book that really changed my career. Before The Go-Giver, I was thinking on win-win. Oh, let's have a win-win. Like today, like, oh, well, you know what? If I give you a training, maybe you'll buy something from me. Now that's not the way I think. Win-win is the biggest wrong, is the worst advice you can see. Because when I, if I, let's say today I have a win-win. I have an agenda. I, I'm not here to protect your interest. I'm, I'm not a client's advocate. I just have an agenda. So just be 100% win for your clients. And guess what? If they sense it, like the letters that I sent you, they're going to get your back. And, and my students got money from their clients and say, I'm going to buy the boat from you, right? And that's what essentially this book is going to teach you, to think differently. So now that we talk about serving, let's talk about selling. Because I'm a sales trainer. I love sales and I love teaching people how to sell. And I want you to sell. I want you to keep your sales momentum and I want you to sell like never before right now. Why I like the lion? Because the lion is the king of the jungle. Do you know why? It's not the strongest. It's not the fastest. It's not the smartest. It's not the heaviest of the animal. But it's a king because of the attitude. And I want you to have the right attitude. I want you to go to work in the morning early and dress and call your clients and email your clients and have the right attitude. But guess what? In the boating industry, it's very difficult because we have this uncertainty because we're selling a product that less 1% of the population can afford. That is the last of the list of things we need in life with one of the longest buying cycle in a very competitive market and especially in selling boats in pandemic. But I'm going to help you. Because I'm going to help you because I know you need to provide. And there are opportunities out there. And jokes apart, because I want to help you bring more regular sales. Some people were saying, some experts were saying that the COVID-19 is creating a lot of problems in relationship at home. And like divorce lawyers are going to be uh, very busy after, after COVID-19. Because they call it the relationship accelerator. So you can either destroy or, or improve your relationship very fast. But guess what? It's the same for sales. The COVID-19 is a, is, a, is a sales accelerator. If the guy wants a boat, he's been stuck at home for three weeks, and he's going to be like, you know what? Guess what? Now, now that's it. They're going to jump and go and buy the boat. So it's going to be a qualifier for you, and you're going to find these opportunities. But you need to do one thing. So I want you to keep selling. I want you to keep being hungry and keep selling. But you need to sell with one thing, with empathy. And I'm going to teach that to you. Do you know where the word selling comes from? I wrote a little book. Where's my little book? And it's actually the first sentence of the book that I wrote. I wrote a book called How to Sell Your Yacht. And that's the first sentence of my book. Selling is not about taking. It's about giving. If you study the semantic of the word selling, it comes from the word selling, which in old English means to give. Selling is about giving. So what you want to do, what I'm going to teach you right now is to sell with empathy. I want you to sell strong, but with strong empathy. I came across, I was browsing the, the, the social media and I came across a video from a company out there that is absolutely amazing and i want to share it with you because you're doing a remarkable job of selling with empathy so let me sure that the volume is up okay so you should be able to so listen to the video hi guys jeremy anderson from big thunder marine we want to let you know that in this time we're here for you and we're open We've taken extra precautions at all of our stores. We've put hand sanitizer at all the entrances. We're wiping down all of our high touch areas twice a day. We've increased our store cleanings to make sure that we're as clean as we can and abiding by all of the CDC rules and guidelines, including not allowing more than 10 people in the store at one time. If you still don't wanna come out, we're here for you online as well. We can do a video walkthrough. We can do a FaceTime. 
We'll even bring the boat to your dock on a great day if you want to take a look and demo some new product that we've got. And if you want to shop our wake effects online, we've got a full selection of clothing, wakeboards, surfboards, and everything else you need for your family. And you can shop on the website, wakeeffects.com. So check out our inventory, bigthundermarine.com, and our wake effects inventory at wakeeffects.com. And we look forward to having a great summer. These things are short lived and we're gonna have a great year. Look forward to seeing you out on the water. That's the absolute best videos that I've seen. I want you to really write down what he's writing and do something similar because he keeps selling. If you look during the video, but he has a maximum empathy. She's not focusing on them, he's focusing on the clients. Look, you have problem, so we're gonna do business with you in four different ways. Number one, we're gonna clean your store. Number two, you can shop online. Number three, if you, if you wanna see the boat, we're gonna bring your boat to your house. And number four, you can, we, can, we have the whole store online that you can buy from. He's showing, his, he's showing their clients how they are adapting. So he keeps selling aggressively, but with a maximum empathy. So that's a fantastic example. Two weeks ago, I was interviewing one of my idols in the boating industry. His name is Michael Bremen. He's the sales director for Lursen Yacht. Lursen, they are selling the biggest yacht in the world. And a few years ago, I was at the Dubai boat show and I went to see him. And I said, Michael, can I ask you a question? He's like, yeah. I'm like, look, you, 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 I'm calling you Michael Jordan of boat sales because you sold billions of dollars worth of yachts and everyone is looking up at you and everyone is looking up at Lursen and you have such a big experience in the boating industry. What's the best sales advice you can give me based on your career in boating? Here's what he told me. Here's what he told me. I don't sell Lursen Yacht. I help people buy them. It's about the people. It's not about the Lursen. This is so critical. This is what I want to teach you today. This is what I want you to remember today. You have been taught all your careers that selling is about the, the traditional pyramid of selling is that's what you see on the left. Building rapport, 10%, qualified, 10%. And then it's about presenting your product and objection handling and closing. But this is a traditional way of selling. This does not work anymore today. And especially in times like this. Today, the only way to do is to help clients buy, which is the gentleman did just before in the video did perfectly. It was just helping clients buy with methods that are adapted to COVID-19. So how do you do that? You use a method of communication. I don't have time to go through it. Normally I teach that, but I don't have time to go through it during this training, but it's called dialogue communication. And essentially I call that reverse selling because it's on the opposite spectrum of all the other methods of communication in sales, which means that it's focusing on the client and it's focusing on asking questions and listening. So what is a question you can ask yourself right now to be really effective selling to clients in a period like this? Question number one, I'm curious as to why you decided to come and see this specific model. You can say, hey, look, there's 85,000 boats on Yacht World. I'm curious as to why you inquire about this specific model. Or there is 65 uh, brand of center console. I'm curious as to why you decided about this specific brand and model. The why question. Number two, the, the understand what your clients plan. What do they want to do? So describe a perfect day on the water for you. How do you like to feel on the water? What are you going to do with a boat? Right? Extremely important question. question. Magic question number three. I absolutely love that question. Every time I'm selling something, that's the first question I will say before starting a demonstration. There are hundreds of great things I can tell you about this boat. But what's the most important thing in a boat for you? I'm going to repeat that again. There are hundreds of great things I can tell you about this boat, but what's the most important thing I can tell you uh, in a thing in a boat for you? Now, if they respond, let's say it's an engine or if it's a, it's a galley, don't start talking about the feature and benefits of the engine and galley. Just look at them and say, why is it important to you? And this is so important because people shop at the rational level, but they make decisions at the emotional level. And this question will create a cognitive dissidence. It will just switch from rational to emotional. 
And what's going to happen is something magical. They're going to sell themselves on the fact that this is the right boat for them up to that. And they're going to tell you exactly what they want. So I want to show you also a very powerful closing question. Do you think it might be the right boat for you? And if they'll tell you yes, you say, why do you feel it is? Why do you feel it is? This will help you so much. Two weeks ago, I did a training. It was like a 45 minute free training on reverse selling. And I shared the exact same questions. We had one student that had uh, the afternoon after or two days after he had a view, viewing or showing. And he sent that to me on WhatsApp. Hi, Vincent. I did the reverse selling thing. Didn't mention anything about the boat during the visit. Now on the offer without shipping. And I'm talking about like, this is last week I received that, or, the, or a week and a half ago. This is all going to help you significantly, and this is going to have a massive impact on your sales. Talking about massive impact, I want to help you, and I'm going to give you an email that will get a massive impact for you. Remember, I told you it's not about the product, it's about the clients. How about you send an email like this? Do you plan on buying a board in 2020? Hi, F name. F name stands for first name. I'm conducting a poll of a contact. Are you still planning on buying a board in 2020? Or do you have any plans to change? If instead of sending a boring newsletter and nobody reads newsletter anymore because they receive 200 a day and because it looks like a legal document and because it's so pushy and look like so commercial and they're tired of being sold saying, how about you send a question like that, which is small, personal, and, and, uh, very nice and care about them. What's your plan for 2020? So to try a question like this, whether it's for selling or buying, you'll be surprised and get back to me with the results you get from that email. So that was the third thing of all, pivot your business, digitize your business and keep serving and keep selling. That was the third thing of a 30 day action plan. Now I have an opportunity for you. I have a nice opportunity for you. So here it is. Now you have different possibilities. Number one, you can take what you I gave to you on this training, which is great and it's going to help you, and you can go at it alone. But it's going to be difficult. Why? Because we live in a certain time right now, and things have been changing, and it's very difficult, and you can do it on your own, but it's going to be hard. And chances are you might get knocked out, just like we got knocked out by COVID-19 a couple of months ago. My, that might happen again. And I don't want that to you. I genuinely want to help you. The second opportunity is to work with a mentor. And if you need help and know you want to need help, work with a mentor. Now, whether it's me or somebody else, it's so critical, so important that you're working with a mentor. Someone that know how to help you get more business. Someone that know how to help you get more connected with clients and get more results. You know, I've been working in the boating industry for so long now. And since I started the Yachts Academy, I have 5,000 boat sales professionals that I train. And I've accumulated a treasure chest. I want you to imagine a treasure chest for the boat sales professionals. And inside this treasure chest, it's not full of gold and riches. It's full of the best strategies that you can use right now. Remember how I told you last month, you heard about Zoom, you heard about webinar, you heard about social media, you heard about video walkthrough, you heard about digital brokerage, you heard about working from home, you heard about YouTube and things. Guess what? Those are the things I've been doing for the last 10 years. I master those things and I want to help you implement them. So again, my treasure chest is not, a full, is not full of golden riches. The treasure chest is full of treasure maps. And these treasure maps leads to other treasure chests. And treasure maps such as how to pivot your business and keep sales momentum, how to sell using video and social media, how to get more listings, how to get more buyers leads, how to sell and close more deals, how to negotiate. You're never going to make more money as when you're negotiating. If you don't list, you don't last. And things like this are so critical for you right now to know the best strategies because I know you don't have time to go and read the books and take the training. You need the best strategies right now so you can implement them right away and get the results to help you fight this crisis. So I put a group together. 
I put some small mastermind groups. So I'm organizing some Zoom calls, five Zoom calls over the period of three weeks. And I want to invite you in one of those groups. It's not very expensive. It's the absolute best price I've put together. It's just a couple hundred bucks and it's going to help you significantly. I want to give you a couple of testimonials of people in the group right now that are loving the results. Here is one. So far, four weeks later, I have sold seven boats and secured four new listings for surpassing what I did in the same period last year. All of this has been achieved under the lockdown. I received it like three days ago. Another one, last week. Great stuff, Vincent. That was for the, the, the Zoom call number one or Zoom call number two. He said, I used to manage 125 salespeople across five continents and wish I had your, trainees, your training back then. Another one, even other brokers are sending me text message why I'm selling yachts and they don't. We are getting results into the Zoom calls. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be your next best month ever. It might be like now, but it's, it's not going to be easy. But if you implement the strategies I'm going to give you in these calls, you're going to get some serious results to fight through this crisis and to come back stronger. So here is what I want you to do. I need to have a quick chat with you, 15, 20 minutes. We have a no pressure talk. We chat, we see if it's a fit for you. I'll tell you how it works and everything. And then you sign up if you, if you want. So absolutely no pressure at all. Here is how you can book your call. You go to bit.ly slash YC30 and you book your time with me. Okay, bit.ly slash YC30 and you book your 20 minutes call with me. And we'll talk about that group, that support group system. So it's five Zoom calls of 75 minutes over a period of five weeks. So far I had four group last month. Last month I had four groups. So around 20 or around 20 person per group. So we were around 80, stu 80 uh, students. We are almost finished all the coaching group from last month. So now I'm going to reopen some seats for this month. And um, it's not going to be reopened for long because once I, I can have only four groups again this month and then I have to close it. So it's a time sensitive opportunity. And I want you to do it. Now, I promise you, I wanted to give you also a training. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my, you know, I told you about the treasure chest with the treasure maps that leads towards the treasure chest. So I thought about it. I opened my treasure chest and I'm like, well, what's the best thing I can give them right now that will help them to digitize their business and to pivot? Well, the social media training, the 21 day challenge social media training is really going to help you significantly right now. And I want you to have it. So here is what you need to do. Send me an email at vincent at yatsesacademy.com with the subject line social media. And that's how you're going to get the training. Now, again, let's talk about the group, the support system and collective intelligence. We have limited uh, room in this group and I would genuinely love for you to join this group. Again, I'm putting my best pricing out there for you to join that group. That's the best opportunities, the best strategies that I've gathered over the last uh, 12 years and I'm sharing, handing to you on a silver platter so you can apply them during the, the, those five Zoom calls. We have also some live Q&A. We have a Facebook group that I share all the replay and all the material and everything. So I want to be sure that you are uh, joining this group. So to join this group, go to bit.ly slash YSA30. I look forward, I sincerely look forward to the opportunity to help you. I really want to help you. I hope you find value in this training. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure also to uh, ask for your free social media training. I wish you all a fantastic day. I'm all with you guys. I love you all. And I look forward to seeing you soon on the dock. Stay safe, stay healthy, hustle, keep strong, and talk soon. Bye.